Hello there, y'all motherfuckers. This wild man, Chris 200, coming back to you again. Feeling generally kind of like shit, as always, with the exception of getting better, recovering from my goddamn gallbladder fucking surgery, and I think I'm getting back to normal. Thank God for that. Back to normal. Thank God for that. Back to my normal shitty ass fucked up goddamn life. Thank God for that. You know, God damn! I look at myself, I have not accomplished jack shit. And what do I see when I see my fucking self in the mirror? Look at this ugly face. You see this shit? You see this shit? Look how fucking old I look. And don't forget, the me 30 is old. I get 10 years off my, 20 years off my life to look like I'm in my 20s. I have not, and here's nothing that pisses me off. God fucking damn it. I'm gonna show you a video of a girl who's on my measure in Greenville last night. She was shorter than me, but she was tall and she looked good. God fucking son of a goddamn bitch, her form is longer than mine. God fuck it. When will I be able to afford the you that allows her to stretch my motherfucking arms up? They can be longer. God fucking damn it. <laughs> trying to get her over for 10 fucking years. Life's a fucking bitch. You know that? And then you die. And you know what's really fucked up? Is if you go to hell. No, no, no. Fuck that shit. I'm raising all the hell now that I can't so that when I die, I'm just leaving the fucking shit behind, God damn it. God fucking cunt ass son of a fucking bitch. God fucking damn it. When you're an ugly guy like me, and to me, there ain't no such thing as middle ground. You're either hot or you're not. And I'm not. So, I'm ugly. There's no middle fucking ground. My entire banks show, oh, I'm trying to be compassionate. Hey, is this the same one who, when you're applying for the next top model, if you ain't got the cut, they tear you down? What a double fucking goddamn standard. I remember back in 1993, this guy was giving me trouble on the video arcade. So, like the good boy, I went and told the cops, and the guy, and the cop was talking to the guy, the guy was getting all mouthy, and he's like, look, I'll take both of you to jail. <laughs> I was the one who was doing right, and he was talking shit like that about me. You see now why people don't like to go to the cops for justice. There is no fucking justice, there's no compassion. If I'd have been one of those sweet little pretty girls, he'd have been like, oh, he wouldn't have said that, I'll take you both to jail. He'd have been like, ready to kill for her. That's alright, I'll do justice my way, God damn it. Besides, I can do a better job. Justice in America fucking sucks. There is no justice in America. Well, I'll take that back. Justice goes for sale to the highest bidder. Who needs it? Fuck this goddamn shit. I'm pissed off still! That was, how long ago was that? 17 years ago and I'm still pissed. Not 16 and a half years ago. I'm still pissed off about that goddamn shit. I demand my sovereignty. I demand it, and I will get it, somehow, if it kills me. Now fuck that shit. All I want to do is to be the good looking guy I see in my mind's eye. The mirror and the camera never agree with it. Would somebody please, would you, if you, those of you who see this video, will you please email the Oprah show or any other talk show who will have me. I'm sick and tired of being, I gotta get out of this shithole dump. I wanna start filming my videos at the house of Fongate Road and not in this fucking hellhole dump on Oprah Winfrey here. I mean, God fucking damn it. I want to get on the real Oprah Winfrey show, not just on Oprah Winfrey. Shut the fuck up. I'm tired, I'm tired of this shit. Look how old I look. People tell me I look 30, 35 years old, makes me want to slash, lash out and, and spit in God's face. Makes me want to, I'm not going to because I just got over this fucking gallbladder surgery and he can make my life hell. He can bring me to my fucking knees. In fact, he did. 
I uh, want to stop cursing God, but whenever I get rejected by a girl, whenever I see my arm so short, God damn it! Look at this messy house. If I take it to my kitchen, look at all these goddamn fruit flies. Nothing I do. And the fucking house and just keep fucking coming back. What the fuck? God damn it. Can I please get on your show before you go off the air in 2011? Please. What the fuck? It doesn't matter if you just use one show to feature me on it. You're gonna be off the air anyway. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. The moral of the story is, if you want something done, you've got to do it your goddamn self! I think I know of a way where I can promote myself. Starting with about Wild Man Chris 200 YouTube videos. Okay. First time I'm putting some videos where I'm actually doing wrapping my own original material, okay? You know those billboards they got in the cities? If I can start renting, if I can, it's going to cost me some money. <laughs> I had to start selling drugs. Just kidding. <laughs> I bet you if I did, I, I, my life would be a lot better. I'm not going to sell drugs. I ought to, but I'm not going to. And start renting billboard signs, not just in my city, but in... Cities across America, even on the West Coast, El Paso, California, Redmond, Washington, Colorado, Chicago, where Oprah Winfrey's show is. Hold on, phone's ringing. Yeah. No. Skating rink sucks. And it costs money to get in there and I can't afford to paint. Well, I gotta use that for my cosmetic service. I'm trying to make my life better. I'm trying to get out of this shit home I'm in now. I wanna get a song produced so I can drop making money so I can use a cosmetic surgery. I ain't got no freaking seat. I don't know what, none of these fucking narcs can't figure it out. They don't give a shit. Well, I'm glad. I am... Please do, because I'm angry. Well, let me finish this video, I'll talk to you later. Bye. The fuck was that? Probably some prankster trying to act like he gives a shit. Well, anyways... Start renting billboards, putting up their big letters www.youtube.com slash wildmanchris200. I'm a crazy motherfucker who wants to get on an open for show or on any talk show. Please help me. Please watch my videos. Please email her on my behalf. You reckon I can get fucking something done then? God fucking damn it! I know I'm gonna get a lot of shit calls like this because I'm ugly. If I was a good looking guy, the girls would be knocking down my door to date me. But because I'm not a good looking guy, the guys pretending to be girls are knocking down my doors to make fun of me. Thanks a lot, God.